Hi everyone and welcome back to the English Danny channel. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure that you subscribe and of course uh, like this video if you find it very, very useful. So today we actually have a really interesting lesson for you, which is going to be about gaming vocabulary. And a lot of gaming vocabulary is slang. Okay, sometimes they're not real words and sometimes the word is used in a way that it's it doesn't match its dictionary definition, but that's okay. It's slang. So let's go ahead and let's get started. The first word that we're going to learn about today is loot. And as you can see here, loot actually has two different uses uh, in gaming. So let's take a look at the first one. Loot can be a noun, and it means that er, it, it represents the items that you need to survive in a game, such as weapons, uh, medicine, food, or any equipment that you need. Now, loot can also be a verb, which is an action, and it means to gather the items that you need, usually from a container like a box or some other source. So let's look at a few examples, all right? For example, the monster dropped some really good loot. Or, I looted the monster after my team killed it. Hey guys, we have some great news. Um, we have a new book available, okay? And it's called Learn English Through Stories. And you can find the, the link to this ebook down in the, in the description. All right, so go ahead and please check it out. In this book, you'll learn English through stories, just like native speakers do. This book is for English language learners who are interested in learning uh, English in a natural way and in an interesting way. Each story has specially placed English grammar and English vocabulary to help you improve your English. Each of the 16 stories in this book is written in three different difficulty levels, basic English, intermediate English, and advanced English. If that sounds interesting to you, just click the link in the description. Our second word for today is down. And down, of course, I, you know this word, but in gaming, it's a verb and it means to defeat someone or something. So let's look at some examples again. For example, I downed the enemy player, or I've been downed, so I can't help my team. Our third word for today is camp. And camp is a verb, all right? This is very common in games. And it means to stay or hide in one place or one area and surprising enemies who approach you. So let's look at it in a sentence. For example, I decided to camp the top of the hill. Or I don't like campers because they ruined the game. And you can see here, the second example is the word campers. And th this is a noun, right? E-R means a person. So a camper is a person who camps. And our next word is spawn or respawn, okay? Which means to spawn again. Spawn can be a verb, which means to appear in an area after starting the game or being defeated. Spawn can also have a different, uh, a different meaning, which is a noun, and it, and it means the place where you and or your team appears after starting the game or being defeated. So let's, let's use it in a sentence. For example, I spawned near the river or where are you i'm at spawn and our final word for today is noob noob is a noun 
And it means <clears throat> a beginner uh, or a person who has no experience with the game. Or it can also mean a player with poor skills. And this word also has some different ways to spell it. And you can see here, you can say newbie with spelling the word new, N-E-W, or noob, N-E-W-B. And <clears throat> before we use it in an example, I just want to say that this word can sometimes be a little bit rude to say to another person. All right, let's look at our examples. So, for example, I'm a total noob at this game. Or, I made a mistake and the other player called me a noob. And you can see here that I'm using two different ways to spell this word, and that's okay. All right, everyone, that's our lesson for today. If you really enjoyed this uh, this video, make sure that you gives, give us a thumbs up and like this video, and let me know in the comments if you're interested in this topic, and if you want to see any more videos about gaming vocabulary. Thanks for tuning in to the English Danny channel.